it's, it's extremely rare. Uh, reds, pinks, and, and purples, and blues, I don't specialize in that because you really need the very, very expensive, and what you can have to buy one rare red, you can have a whole array of, of yellow jewelry. So it's really for the real connoisseur, and they're, they're basically priceless. Blue diamonds um, is up there, yes. Especially the, uh, the, um, the, the intense and the vivid blues are very much sought after because there's very little supply. There, there's a market for the very, very high end. The very rare pieces is, is there's a market for. GIA wasn't certifying green diamonds up till very recently. I've had a green diamond years ago when they would, they, I gave it and they gave a uh, um, certificate as undetermined, or, undetermined origin. So green diamonds, there is a market for it, but you have to really understand the market and understand the color of the green. Brown diamonds is very strong today. It's, they're put together by marketing geniuses. When I started in the business, the brown diamonds, they couldn't give away. And some of the top designers went into them because they were so relatively inexpensive, which they still are. And it makes some nice uh, jewelry, fashion jewelry. And if you look around, there's a lot of, a lot of that in the market today. Well, the, the fancy yellow market is, is caught on very strong in the last uh, I would say the last 10 or 15 years, uh, people were shying away from it because they didn't understand the, uh, the beauty or they didn't see the beauty of actually in the, in the yellow stones. Um, as the prices of white diamonds was escalating and going through the roof, uh, people were looking at yellow stones as an alternative. And um, the, um, the beauty of the yellow, you have to enjoy the, the color. And first of all, the price is, uh, probably a third of what a white diamond would cost. And uh, it's more affordable and it's more readily available to the public. And a lot of people that, that already have their white, bought their white jewelry, people that are getting on or maybe uh, baby boomers or people that are retiring that they already gave their wives the white jewelry, they are looking at yellow jewelry as something that to add on to their uh, collection or portfolio. Fancy lights, YZs. It's probably easy to find in the FGs. And then when you're getting up to the intense and the vivids, uh, it's probably, uh, I would say, just as hard to find as you're looking for the collection color goods. First of all, we try to get a design, and we try to work in the, the light yellows into, it has more mass appeal. I mean, obviously, the vivids and the intenses are more rare as far as a gemological or as far as a, that goes. But uh, as far as marketing purposes, uh, if you bring out the beauty of a yellow, of a light yellow, of a YZ, um, it's much more affordable and you can attract more to the masses.